Hey mommy boss friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole and on this channel we share the mom life, the business life, and me still working a full time job. So if you like this type of content, just keep on watching. So we are in the third series. This is the third week. Like, can you believe it? Okay, so we are in the third week. This week, this series is how to, how to set up your shipping and how to how to set up your shipping methods and how to set up your payment processing methods your payment processing methods and your shipping methods is super is super important because that is the whole ship of your business like you you if you have an online business then that means you're going to be shipping product or if you have a product based let me say this again if you have a product based business then that means you're going to be shipping out products if you have a product online based business that means you're going to be shipping out products so you really you need a shipping method to ship out these products and as well as a payment processing method you don't want to rely on your website for you to have a um, payment processing methods because you know say you need a dispute or anything happens and you have no transactions or no way to dispute then you know you, you left yourself out like so SOT or I don't know how to say it SOL I guess you know if you understand SOL but yeah so you don't want to leave yourself hanging because you know you didn't set up payment pro processing methods so I'm going to share with you how you can set up your own payment process Ugh. I'm going to share with you how you can set up your own shipping methods and your own payment process processing methods. So let's get into it. All right, let's let me take you to my website and show you how to set up your own payment methods and shipping methods. All right, <laughs> let's get into it. All right. Watching. So welcome back to part three of our series. So what we did in part one was we created a let's just do an overview real quick so in part one let's go to see what we did so if you missed part one we created this and we this is canva so we used canva and we created a website banner in part one we we created a website banner and we also uploaded it on the on the big cartel website so let's just do let's just look at our website real quick and see what we have done so far so here's what we've done so far so first thing first is we created the we created the website banner using canva and we also uploaded uh, product photos and I'll also give you some tips and tricks um, to upload your own product photos um, to big cartel this is what it looks like here we have our website copy. Website copy is basically your captions and what you write inside of your, your website. Um, so we did that and um yeah, we showed you how to to do this in part two. So part one, part part one was let's go back to part one. Just a really quick recap. So part one was we created a website banner using Canva and we also show I also showed you how to upload your website banner um, to Big Cartel. And then part two was uh, part two was uploading um, product photos. So now let's get on to part three. We're actually on part three. So part three is drum roll please da, 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 da. connecting setting up your shipping and payment processor so let's let's click on so explore shipping profiles you can cr quickly create flat shipping rates or customize profile profiles for your for your product so let's go ahead and start setting up our shipping so let's do our shipping so we clicked here we want to get rid of that okay I know okay okay so okay so let me back it up a little bit let's go back to the dashboard so we're going to click on explore shipping profiles then it's keep popping up so it's going to keep messing us up so the first thing you want to do is click on edit location and currency you want to edit 
the location and currency. So it's already edited though. It's already edited. You have the country, time zone, and currency. It, it does this for you like automatically. So the next thing is um, let's set up these shipping. Um, let's let's tap let's click on this. So let's edit shipping. Is it shipping? No, that's not it. Hold on. Okay, yeah. So um, you're gonna go all the way down to you're gonna scroll all the way down until it says shipping profiles better. So you're gonna click on editing edit your shipping. So you're gonna click on edit your shipping. You can click the little pencil right here and it takes you to the shipping page. So now it's it's set up set up default shipping rates and add product shipping profile. So product shipping profiles, product shipping profiles are used to override your default rates when applied to individual products and variants. It's ideal for items that must ship separately. Um, let me see what this look like. This must be new. Yeah, that must be new. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that one. So what we're going to click on is we're actually going to click on set up default shipping rates. So let's do that. So with shipping, I'm going to make a whole video about shipping. But with shipping. So here's the thing with shipping. So let's select the country. Um, we're in the United States. So, here is how you can, United States includes all 50 states, okay? Oh, and the following territories, America, Suma, Guam, Puerto Rico, United States, Minor. Okay, this is, they telling you where all the cities, the states that you can ship to. Um, you can ship to all 50 states and some other states, the Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico. So, it's good to read as well on that one. Um, if you are trying to take international orders, but this is included in the states that they, that you can ship your product out. So let's go to, so the best thing to do is go to the USPS, www.usps.com. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to go here. This is what I use to ship my orders out. So I go to the your your local post office. This is your local post office um, website. So I'm at usps.com. So the next thing um, to look for is, I think it's um, not business, but it's on um, prices. I think, yeah, it's prices. So I went to business and I went down to prices. Is it? No. No, go to, matter of fact, let's click on quick tools. Well, we're going to click on quick tools. Track a package. Find USPS location. Schedule a pickup. You can also schedule a pickup. And I think you could also, um, you could, you can get free boxes shipped to you as well. I'm about to start doing that as for myself, actually. Um... So let me, um, I'm trying to find shipping. <laughs> okay. So these are all the prices. So then domestic prices. Okay. So, so if you scroll all the way down to the USP, if you scroll all the way down on the USPS.com website, your local post office, um, scroll all the way down. Here is the prices that I use for my shipping. And the reason why I use these prices for my shipping is because this is the this is the same price as the um, post office prices. So they cannot, your customers can't say, oh, you made it out of thin air or, you know, however. So you have, so the most important things that I, I let the customer, I let my audience choose what, what how they want to send their order out either whether they want to send it out priority mail or first class or or you know more so let's just look so priority mail let's click on so it, it's either pri it's either first class mail pri priority mail or priority mail express <coughs> i believe i haven't done this in a while 
So you have to bear with me because I, I haven't did this in a minute because my price, my shipping and stuff is already set. So I, I don't even touch it. So matter of fact, let me log into my um, regular one so that you can see exactly what I'm talking about first. We're going to go out of here really quick. And we're just going to open up another tab and we're going to go to my, my regular like big cartel site. Okay, my Samsung went up for my okay. Okay, uh let me look at Okay, it's down here. So let's look at the shipping real quick. See, I already have my, my payment processing and my shipping down here so you see so let's just i'm not editing nothing i just want you to see how i have mine set up so you see how i don't even touch this part because i i don't i this is something new i don't know when they edit this but this is something new so with my oh did i just wait what did i just do okay so see so my shipping methods are the same prices at, as the USPS. So I so these these shipping um options are available to my um customers. So, so let me just share. So these are my shipping. Um, so I have priority shipping, first class mail shipping, and next day shipping. So these are prices that um I use for my shipping. So I found them on the USPS. Uh, website so um priority shipping now let's click on priority is it priority yeah priority shipping i should put priority mail shipping but mm, hold on let me see <laughs> okay so priority mail so this one is priority mail so uh priority mail is one to three business days and flat rate pricing so priority mail um lets you ship packages up to 70 pounds to any state at the same price ship from post office locations or from your home or business um service prices start at 9 35 so um, you could read more into detail about this. This is the easiest way to sh set up your shipping here. Because I know, like, that's, like, one of the most toughest things is the shipping. So, they must have changed their prices because I still have $7. And if they went up, baby, I got to change my prices. At $9.35. So I I got changed my prices. Um includes USPS tracking and up to a hundred dollars off of um a hundred up to a hundred dollars of insurance insurance with most shipments. Um this right here is if I'm shipping an order that is more over, yeah, like up to a hundred dollars and over. Like anything that's two, three hundred dollars, like for wholesale. Say if you have a five hundred dollar wholesale order, you would definitely want some. You would definitely want to um, put insurance on it, and you would definitely want someone to sign off on that product. Um, when they while they you know ship the product, so yeah, you definitely want that. So, with that being said, so priority, oh, it's it's even more down here. Priority mail, mail flight rate. This is if you want to get your um, po the post office offers free shipping um materials like shipping boxes. So these are these are the prices of the shipping. So you get the free you get the free boxes, but you have to pay for the shipping if you're using the post office um boxes. So you want to keep that in mind. But yeah, so this is $9.35. 
I haven't, like I said, I haven't did this in a while. So you could clearly see that it is no more $7.95. Now it is $9.85. So I have to go back and change that. Now let's look at the next one. So this is priority mail. Now let's look at first class mail. So first class mail is mail delivered in one to five business days. So these um, delivery times are a little bit longer than the priority mail because the priority mail was about one to three one to three business days this one is one to five business days um this includes small packages delivered in two to five business days best price service for items up to 13 ounces um thir yeah 13 ounces because 16 ounces is a pound so that's a little bit under uh that's a little bit under a pound um, insurance for loss or this is like a lip gloss or one bundle of hair or a book or like something like that something that's like small you know um so this shipping starts at four dollars and 75 cents so um uh, what do i have mine set at oh okay so for four dollars and 80 cents okay they went down a little bit and now next day sh express shipping. Let, let's look at the next day express shipping. So next day um, express shipping. You want to do your research. Don't just rely on me doing this research, which I am doing it for you. But you want to keep in mind, you want to do your own research about your own um, local post office, your, lo your own post office in your city and state. Um, cause it varies cities, city and uh, it varies city and state. So you want to make sure you're looking at your own, um, post office rates in the, the location that you're currently in. Um, now let's go to priority mail. Is it priority mail express? I think that's what it is. Yes. Yeah, none of those. Cause we know we're not even there. So yes, yeah, priority mail express. Yeah, so priority mail is from nine dollars and thirty five cents. First class mail is first class mail package service is four dollars and seventy five cents. And let's now look at the priority mail express. Now priority mail express next day or to two days two day guarantee and flat rate pricing. Priority Mail Express services provide next day to two days um, delivery service by 6 p.m. with a money back guarantee. You get competitive prices and fast delivery every day all year with um, limited exceptions to most U.S. addresses and P.O. boxes. So Priority Mail Express flat rate lets you ship packages up to 70 pounds to any states at the same price. Mail from post office locations or from your home phone. I mean, or locations from your home or business with click and ship service. Prices start at twenty eight seventy five. So let's compare what I have here. Okay, that they went down a little bit twenty six ninety. The only thing that they went a little bit higher on is the priority shipping, which is not not anymore seven dollars and ninety five cent, which is cur is currently now three dollars in. I mean, I said three dollars. I'm sorry. It's nine dollars and eighty five cents, I believe. So I have to change that myself. Let me change that real quick. Um. So because you, you at the end of the day, your customers have to. Let's change the price on here. Your customers have have to pay for shipping, or you 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 will literally be paying for shipping on each order. So it's important that you put your shipping prices inside, like, um, you know, in, either inside of the order if you're doing free shipping or, um, you know, you're not putting the price at all and they also are paying for the shipping. Me, I don't put the price inside of their order. You literally just have to pay a flat out fee for the shipping. Like if you, you, you have, to, like, that's just how I set it up because the more simple and easy it is for me the more that it, it's, it's more simple for me. So now priority mail is $9 and 35 cents. 
Um, let me go back on here because it's okay. So it's one to three day, one to one to three business days. Okay, so let me go back on here. So now it's I, I just forgot nine dollars and thirty five cent. So now it's because I want to make sure. And also, your customers will, you know, make sure you're not jipping them or like, you know, trying to, you know, upper the price on shipping and and stuff like that. So I'm keeping mine the same approximate delivery three to five days. You don't really have to put this here. Like, I mean, no, you have to put the script, the description like, OK, approximate time delivery days between three to five business days this goes on accordingly to your own processing and shipping time so um i leave that and i also leave this zero each additional item is zero because this is the whole order you don't want to add me i don't add any more money on top of the shipping because you don't want nobody to not shop with you so i've saved that so now the so when they go when they add to click like when they shop and click out like when they add to the cart and ready for a purchase and they get to the shipping page this is what they will see they will see priority shipping um they will choose between if they want to choose priority shipping first class mail next day express shipping so most of the times they choose the 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 cheapest one but the the times are a little bit longer so one to five um business days let me make this one a little bit matter of fact let me just change this because that that do say one to three to three days let me see it says yeah one to three business days so we're we're going to go exactly off of here so approximately delivery time one to three business days let me put that because you know people like business days are from monday through friday weekends are not considered business days so yes yeah, so now that we have our shipping let's let's do our shipping on um this is my actual page but um, my actual website i literally had to update it because i haven't checked um shipping in so long so let's go to our our website here okay so this is our website let's bring this a little bit right here okay so like i said here i do not bother with this this is ad product shipping profile this is if you want to do individually products say if you have more than 50 products you don't want to enter you don't want to enter 50 shipping pro like you know what i'm saying you want to just do it all at once so here we're going to we're going to click i hope i'm not losing you here if it all makes sense so we're going to set up shipping we're going to set up default shipping rate so we're going to click here so the standard with with tracking next day and customer pickup we're actually going to change that so the first one is let's let's work on the first one Okay, why is it not letting me click on it? Hold on. The shift and profile already exists. Wait, hold up. Let me go back real quick. Oh, wait, is this mine? Oh, no, this is mine. Oh, hold up. Hold on. Let me put that right here because I do not want to get confused. Wait a minute. Oh, we are in mine. Hold up. Hold on. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute now. I'm so glad I saw this. Hold on. Hold on. I have to change this again. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, I just saved this one. This one I just saved. Yeah, let me see. Let me save that. Let me, let me click. Uh, let me log out. So we're going to actually log back into Socially Connected. 
Log back in. All right, so here we go. So let's add shipping. So we're going to go back to our shipping. Let's click off of here. So that because that was mine. So we're in, you could tell this is different because this is this one. So this is the example website. So we're going to go down to shipping. And we're literally going to copy and paste the shipping. Um, so we're going to click on where at shipping profiles beta. So we're going to click edit your shipping. So we're going to click here. Now you come down to here and you're going to set up default shipping rates. So that's where you're going to click to. Now you're going to just enter. So you're going to start with standard with, with tracking. I guess you could put whatever you want to put in there, but, but for me, okay, so we're already on priority mail. So priority mail is one to three business days. So I'm literally going to copy like all of this right here. You can literally copy, can you copy and paste it? You can literally copy and paste and put that right in here. Okay, let me click, click, click off because I do not want to mess up mine. So you could keep standard and then put in parentheses. Yep, see? So standard priority mail, one to three business days. Um... Actually, you can just put, um, we can delete that and just keep that as priority mail because it is standard. And then we can change this to um, one to three business days, not included weekend. So... You could just put one in three business days, actually. And then for the price, we already know that it's $9. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. Hold up. It's $9.35 um, for, for the shipping. So let's go back just to make sure. So $9.35. So we're going to go back here. And we have $9.35. $9 so um, we're, we're just going to click save. So we made our first one standard priority mail approximate delivery time between one to three business days. Now let's do the next one. So we're going to click on the next one. Let's go to the next one. So we have priority mail. Like I said, um, we keep these, we keep things really simple. So we have priority mail, first class and priority mail ex express. So now we're doing first class mail. So we're going to go here. You can read more about it. You know, you can go to, you know, www.usps.com and or you can type it in Google and, and it bring you here. So this prior first class mail is only four dollars and seventy five cents to ship out. But it does take a little bit longer. It takes a two, two to five business days versus uh, what one versus one to three business days. So we're going to. We're going to type in the price, which is $4.75. And we're going to um, make this say, this is actually first class mail. Well, this is actually standard. The other one is not really standard. I don't, I don't know. First class mail. And we're going to delete this because it's a shipping time is not going to be no one day. So we're going to take that and we're going to, um, we're going to do one to five business days and we're going to copy that. And we were simply just paste, pasting it all right here in here. One to five business days and we're going to hit save. So now we got first class mail, one to five business days, $4.75. The next one, we are not doing no customer pickups. So we're going to actually change this. Because you never know who wants to order express shipping. I mean, I don't, nobody ever, ever really orders express shipping because it's so expensive and it just doesn't make sense. But, you know, you, you do want to have that as an option as well. So priority mail, um, priority mail express. So you want to click on here 
It's next day to two day um, guarantee. So priority mail express. So you want to go back here and you want to click that. In the description box is next day to two day guarantee. So we're going to put that in there. And we're actually, we're going to put the price. And the price for this shipping method is $28.75. I don't know who is paying $28.75 for shipping express, but that's, that's what you get there. That's the prices. So we save that. So, and now we're going to save our prices. Oh, we got to select a country, a county, a, a country. So we're going to put United States region um atlantic central i guess everywhere um, and we're going to save that so now so let's go to back to our account and now you will see your new shipping rates on your dashboard so let's go down to shipping rates and you will see hold on 2875 you know you have your sh priority first class mail and priority mail express so now that we have our shipping set up let's t it's time to set up our payment processing method yay so let's set up your payment options so this is how you will get paid in your business this is how you will get paid in your business so Let's connect. I use PayPal. I don't know anything about Stripe. I heard bad reviews about Stripe. So I just do not use Stripe. I don't mess with it. 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 But PayPal, um, like play with it, play with it, play with it, or whatever they say. But yeah, so let's connect PayPal. Let's connect this. Um let's we could actually um Let's create a new account. So let's create a new account. We're going to actually call it socially connected. Do I have an email for this? I think I don't, I'm not even sure if I have an email account for this. We're about to find out. I have no idea if I have an email for, for this one, but we about to find out. Okay, we're here. We're in. Okay, we're here. Okay, so this is just a sample. So this is what it actually looks like. Once you sign up to PayPal, you gotta you do I think you do have to go through all of that process to sign up to PayPal. Let me go back on here. So we're finally in. So the main thing that um is important for PayPal, this is all like here is just your home dashboard. I can show you how much, you know, how many orders you got from right here. Money in, money out, you know, like money in is the orders. Money out is you paying for shipping or whatever you decide. Like if you're purchasing products or stuff for your business, you can put that there. Um, it's a lot here. But the thing, so, and then activities is your, all your transactions this is where you can see like all your payment, your transactions, your history. Oh, did I put on fees? My bad, let me go back. No, that's not what I want to do. You go all the transactions here. Ship. And order. So from here, I usually, it's ship's station. Okay, got it. So we're, what you're going to do is, now let me not forget how I got here. How the hell, heck did I get here? I think I went to business tools. No, I went to 
Okay, so you're going to go to your account over here where your name is. And you're going to go to account settings. And then you're going to click on when you get here. So you want to go to your name, click account settings, which we're already at. And you're going to go down to. I think it's shipping. I'm keen on everything that I will return with the green. I will return with the crown. Yes. No, I'm not lucky. I'm blessed. Yes. Clap for the heavyweight champ. Me. We. Young money raised me. Grew up out of raise me. South South Jamaica and Queens and it's crazy. Word can change me. Sorry, to, sorry that you couldn't phase me. Okay, so yeah. So now you're going to click on update. So you're going to click here. Shipping calculations. And this is going to take, take you directly to um, ship station. So you're going to click update or view details or whatever one you want to click on. Oh no, go back. So you're going to click on view details. So now you're at ship station. So now like remember the information that you entered earlier, like when you signed up your, your address name and all of that is going to show up here. So now once you're in here, now let's, let's do a, a fake shipping, uh, type thing here. So we're gonna we're gonna act like we're ship, we're printing out a shipping label. So we're gonna we're gonna go to ship. We're going to actually um I'm gonna teach you how to ship out an order from here. So let's say it's a eight by five letter inch or thermal four to six inch for label printers. Yeah, we're gonna keep it as that. Like so, shipping lab label layout. Um, we're going to keep it here eight of eight by five by 11 because that's the ones that I use um, for my shipping. And we're going to, you know, you're going to put you're going to fill all of this in. you could, you know, fill all of this in. you can just do one, two, three, four, five, you know, whatever, whatever you fill that in. Is it going to take? Oh, then you have the. Uh, OK. <sighs> I feel like doing all that. I don't feel like doing none of this. Um, it's not going to let me go through. But. Um, let me just use. I don't know. Uh. What state is in Virginia? I don't know. I do not know. I'm just clicking any one. Only reason I click Virginia because I got people out. I got family out Virginia. I don't even know a zip code out there. Uh, they won't let me do it because you you had to put in the zig. Uh, okay, I'll let you see once I ship out an order. You're gonna see what I'm talking about. So, yeah. Well, let's go back to our website real quick. So now we done finally set up our. We set up our ship. Well, we set up our shipping right here and we also I didn't want to play this music, but yeah, I'm, I'm done anyway. So let's let's see if we can add any of them.
Let's see who's going to connect it to it. Oh, nope. Okay, so once you did all of that, it, it'll, it'll take you, it'll direct you to set it up. So, you know, you go through the steps and, oh gosh, where is it? So once you go through the steps, you can connect your PayPal. But once you're in PayPal, this is what it looks like. So, and you're good, you're in. Like, you're actually in. You just need to, you know, set it up. Like, it's real simple to set it up. So, um, yeah, I really hope that you, um, I hope you got, I hope you enjoyed this video, even though, because I don't feel like, like, I don't feel like going through, like, it's too much to really, you really have to be legit, like, not legit, but you have to put in, like, your real address, like, your real number, and, like, I, you know, I don't want to put all of that in there, and I didn't have a, a real one, so let me know in the comments down below if you would like me to really find, like, a sample one to really do that one i didn't know it it does that but yeah this is um let's go back to our website and see what we did so far um so stay tuned for part three on uh how to create your own email so what we did so far was we up uh, we what we did was we basically added our shipping and we also signed up for paypal as well so um, I really hope that you like this video. Let's look at our shipping methods one more time um, here. So we have our shipping methods here. So um, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you until next time. Bye. <laughs>